hi guys welcome to my channel if you are new here you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome as well don't forget to subscribe to our channel like and share this video in today's tutorial we are going to be making a kimono dress so from here to here now i have the length of my gown so the not the length i'm working with is 41 inches so plus half an inch to join this shoulder together i have 41 and half then one and a half for the hemming allowance so i have 43 inches so this is a 43 inches mark for three inches length i have here so from the shoulder line to this place i have the i have the bust point of 10 and a half and then from the shoulder to the waist 16 and a half and from the shoulder to the hip which is 25 inches so the next thing i'm going to do is to take the shoulder to shoulder measurement although we are not going to we are not going to use it but i will just mark it for reference so this is the shoulder to shoulder measurement and then i'm going to be marking the neck line so the neck width i'm using is three and half the wideness of the neck is three and half why the neck depth for the back i'm going to use I'm going to use one and a half inch for the back neck depth okay so this is it this is the back neck depth and then from for the front neck depth I'm going to use six and a half inches so this is six and a half so the front neck is going to look like a V shape okay so I'm just going to connect the back neck first and then I'll connect the front neck but I'm not going to be cutting the front neck yet so the front neck I'm just going to connect it like a v-shape or just a slightly curved v-shape okay it's not totally straight I'm using this curve ruler here so I can give it a little you know curve shape around this place so this is how it looks like So you can see but when i want to cut this out i'm going to be leaving marking out about quarter of an inch so that i can use it to i can use the facing i can use it to turn the facing because i'll be using the facing for the for the neck okay so i'm just trying to mark out quarter of an inch so that i will be cutting on the quarter of an inch okay so the same thing for the back neck so i'll be adding quarter of an inch for allowance to turn so the next thing i'll do now is to take the horizontal measurement the quarter of the bust i'm working with is 10 inches so i'll be needing ease of half an inch and then half an inch for side seam allowance so i'll have 11 inches so this is 11 inches here i have the 11 inches mark here and at the waistline let me just extend the the waist line so the quarter of the waist i'm working with is eight three quarter so half an inch for ease and then half an inch for side seam allowance that's one inch so one inch plus eight three quarter i'll have nine three quarter okay so this is nine three quarter here and the quarter of the hip is ten and half plus half an inch for ease half an inch for seam allowance i have 11 and a half so i'm just going to mark the 11 and a half here and then at the hem of the dress whatever you have at the hip you measure it to the hem of the dress unless you want it to be tapered a little so you can just remove half an inch away from there but i'll just leave it the way it is so i'll mark 11 and a half here as well going to connect the lines together so for this dress you know if you want to cut your normal gown you you measure your ham hole line but for this one we are not going to be measuring our ham hole line your bust point is going to serve as your ham hole area okay so we don't need any ham hole around here but your bust point your bust line is going to be your ham hole what i will do now is to determine the length of the sleeve 
okay you can just measure from your center back to where you want your gown to stop okay. or better still after you've determined your shoulder to shoulder measurements just measure your sleeve length and then you mark it here now the sleeve the sleeve length i'm working with is seven inches remember i've already marked out the shoulder to shoulder measurement of eight inches so from that eight inches i will now mark the sleeve length so the sleeve length i'm working with is seven inches then i'll add half an inch for seam allowance i have seven and half so the reason why i'm adding half an inch for seam allowance is i'll be turning the sleeve with another fabric i'll be turning the sleeve with an alcara fabric and it will look like a a turn a turn up sleeve so that is why I'm, I'm adding half an inch for seam allowance so i'll just mark the seven and a half like so so after i've done that then i'll now measure to see the overall measurement i have there so the overall measurement i have here is 15 and quarter 15 and 15 three quarter is the overall measurement i have here so i'm going to mark that at this bust line here i'm going to mark that 15 three quarter two okay so this is it so from here now because it, this side has to be slanted it has to be slanted a little so from this mark here or let me just rule this up so that you don't get confused i'm going to rule this mark up now so i have ruled this mark i have ruled it up now from there i'll just come in by now from there i'll just come in by half an inch okay this is half an inch and then from the top from the top again i'm going to connect this point here so now i'm also going to take the shoulder slope okay so i'm just going to use one and a half for the shoulder slope i'll mark one and a half here at my shoulder line here i'll mark one inch and then i'll connect the line together see this is very very easy to make so i'll cut the back neck first before cutting the front neck remember you, i said you are going to mark out quarter of an inch from that measurement which you use to turn the neck so i'm just going to cut on that quarter of an inch mark so around this side ensure to curve this side a little just curve it a little like so okay curve it a little this place you can decide to reduce the your round sleeve if you want it tapered you reduce it if you want it large you can leave it the way it is you can decide to also add seam allowance here you can you know you are going to be joining the shoulder by one in half an inch and you join this side by half an inch you need one inch so just measure what you have here I still have about nine inches here so even if i take one inch away as seam allowance as it's half an inch half an inch i'm still left with eight inches which is still okay but if you want to add half an inch or one inch seam allowance there you can go ahead and add it okay so i'll just leave my the way it is so i'm going to leave it the way it is and then cut out the measurements now i'm going to take the back away from heat and then recut the front neck so because of this style is going to have these patches if you look at the picture very well so what i will do is to determine the center line of this dress okay and at the center line i'm going to be using one of this fabric to turn the sleeve of this dress and then i just want to show us how you are if you are making yours how you are going to place this on it so the wideness of this wideness of this patch is seven and quarter okay remember i already added my half seam half inch seam allowance all around which i've folded in this is it i've folded it all around and the length is 12 inches okay if you had half an inch on both sides you have 13 inches which i already folded the half an inch inward 
and I said I have seven and quarter here and then I I already had it up an inch two on both sides which I have high-owned inside like this so it's better for you to use your high on to turn the seam allowance in so that it's easy for you to sew it on the dress I also high on um, hair stay on this patch so it's better you high on hair stay too it also makes it easier for you to fold in you know this is this fabric is soft so you need something to make this thing you know hard enough for you to sew it on the dress and it will even make it more beautiful when you had interfacing on the fabric so what you do is you determine the center you can use your high on fold this together and then iron it and on the crease line you place one of this pattern on the center line okay and then from the neck you can come down by about two inches from the neck and then you place this on the center line once you place this on the center line from this other side from this place you can come down by about four inches you can just mark four inches off or let's say five inches you can come down by about five inches and then you determine the center of this patch maybe i'll just you can just use three inches which is here here and here like this and then you place the next patch on that side you can see it here you place it on that side that i just marked now you see you place it like so you can see so the next one too you come down again from here by you know i came down from here by about five inches so you come down here again by about five inches again okay come down by about five inches again and from here also you come in by about three inches okay and then you place this next one on it like so okay this is how you are going to do it so and you have this here so this is how you are going to place it and this and then you stitch it down once you are done stitching the first one down then you stitch the second one and then you stitch the third one so i'm going to use this center one here the fabric at the center to use at this side to turn up the sleeve around here the band i'm going to be cutting out here i will cut it out after joining this to the back sleeve so whatever i have there which will serve as the round sleeve is the measurement i'm going to cut out and the wideness is going to be two inches or two the, the wideness is two inches and then i'll add one inch for seam allowance that is half an inch to turn it with this place and then half an inch to turn it in to sew it to stitch it down on the dress i hope we understand what i said now so i'll just go ahead and do that and then bring it back to you you don't know how to cut the pocket because i'll be putting a pocket at the side all you need to do is just fold your fabric into two like this and then you fold it into four depending on how the length of your fabric is and the opening i left here is seven inches opening and then you fold it into two like so and then you just place your hand you just place your hand like this and then you you mark out the pocket okay you trace out what you have around your hand you can see how i trace this out you trace out what you have around your hand okay just trace out what you have around your hand and then you use it to cut out this so this is how i cut this out so guys this is the final look of the dress and i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please don't forget to like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next